All right, I want to talk to you for just a few minutes. I want to talk to you about uh, this uh, toilet paper situation that we are in. And uh, I want to encourage you to be taking care of your septic tank right now. Listen to me. Listen, this is some advice, and it's from experience. Yes, I see this sort of thing all the time. The septic tank men are really busy uh, the days after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's from all of the food consumption and the toilet paper use. Uh, did you get that? And uh, after Christmas as well. Oh yeah, after Christmas as well. And it is not from just the people living uh, in, in their house, you know. It, it is from company. Some of it is is from company coming over and just the massive use, you know, on the one septic tank. And uh, so I want to I want to talk to you for a minute about this toilet paper situation. And you know, the the, the shelves they empty out as soon as toilet paper hits them, and hopefully that'll slow down. But uh, and I don't blame folks. People want to wipe their rear end. Yeah, people want to eat and wipe, eat and wipe. Yes, they do. I know it's kind of silly, but that's what they want to do. And uh, they don't want any disturbance there. No, they don't, and I don't blame them. Uh, but we've been buying toilet paper, not me, you. We've been buying toilet paper that we should not be using on this septic system. Yeah, the, the Scots is gone, and the septic safe toilet papers, the true septic safe toilet papers, are gone quickly and all that is left is the toilet paper that we should not be using but we get it anyway and we get napkins huh and paper towels yeah no toilet paper well paper towel will work yes it will it will wipe pretty good but the problem is is when you've done that for two three weeks four weeks two months and uh the, the, the septic tank, although you won't have a problem right then and there, more than likely, but you will down the road. You'll have a problem because this toilet paper is not going to, or paper towels, or baby wipes, no, no, no. They are not going to break down, and they are going to form a mat. They're going to form a big quilt. Yeah, a big cozy quilt they will form. And uh, that is bad news for your, for your septic system. So watch what you do. Listen, if I, listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. When it comes to septic, I know what I'm talking about. If you're using paper towel because you can't get toilet paper, then women, if you go pee, just put it in the trash. Uh, not if you go poop, don't put it in the trash. But get rid of it. But if you, if you are blowing your nose or just peeing, then throw that paper towel or that thick, squishy, good smelling toilet paper in the trash. Don't put it in the toilet. You will regret it. You will regret it. Imagine this uh, virus getting out of control and your septic system backing up on you. And we are, we are bound to our homes. We are quarantined to our houses, not allowed to come out, not allowed to leave our property, then what? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So don't take that chance. Don't take that chance. Listen, if your finger don't easily go through the toilet paper, then don't use it. If you are on a septic, if you are on a septic, don't use it. That's a good testing. So take the toilet paper and when you wipe, if your finger goes through, then you're probably in good shape as far as toilet paper goes. But if it doesn't, and has a hard time going through, then I would say don't use that. And if you use it, don't flush it down the toilet. Especially baby wipes and paper towels. I was in uh, Walmart whenever, a week or so ago, and uh, that is when all the toilet paper was being depleted, taken off the shelves. And uh, no toilet paper there. And I see this guy grabbing rolls of paper towels. And I just said to myself, man, I dude, I hope you are on a, I hope you are on sewer. I hope you 
if you were on sewer because it's going to mess up his septic tank. So listen, watch what you're putting down that tank. Everybody's home right now. Listen to me. The septic business right now, in a, the septic business in a couple of weeks is going to boom. Buy your septic tank truck. Listen, I'm going to say it again. The septic tank business in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, is going to boom. Yes, it is. Because everybody is at home. Just think about it. Think about it. For most of the year, the kids are at school and you are at work. But now everybody is at home. So think of what you're doing to your septic tank. Watch your water usage and take care of your septic tank. Don't get in trouble. Don't let this thing get out of hand. Huh? This, this sickness... If it gets out of hand and you have septic trouble and the septic tank man is not allowed to leave his house, go be in a fix, friend. Don't let it get to that. You, I know you say that you can poop in a bucket in a bag, put a bag in a bucket, poop in the bucket, throw the bag in the trash. But just remember the trash man won't be coming and think of the smell. Well, okay, so you'll poop in a bucket and bury it in the backyard. Yes, that's doable. But uh, you think of weeks of pooping in a bucket? No, no, no! It ain't gonna. You ain't gonna like it. You you like that toilet and that nice, good toilet seat. Anyway, friends, uh, just a little talk about septic tanks and taking care of your septic tanks, and that is an absolute, absolute must. Anyway, friends, we'll see you.